Huh. Where could he be? Oh, hey, man. Hey, um, so I was wondering. I've been uh, hoping to film some for the uh, the ping pong club that I keep hearing about. Uh, I was wondering if I could maybe just get a chance. I don't know what you're talking about. The club? The uh, the ping it's pong club? It's a league. Club? It's, so, it's No, I mean, I, it's nothing. I don't know what you're talking about at all. The, the ping pong club is what they show in the, Look, the yearbook. Man, even if I knew anything about a ping pong club, I couldn't help you at all. So... Don't read this note. Oh, you're so dumb. Okay. How dare you? Get your filthy hands off of your Come back in and take a bow. Trying to find this guy. Oh, there's somebody. Oh, oh hey there, man. Okay. Hey. Um, um. What's going on here? They locked me out of my office. Your office. This is a. Uh, this is closet. Yeah. No, it's my office. Your um. Office. So we're gonna have to. This is important. We're gonna have to do this right here. You so just uh, throw your phone out. Why? Does that concern you? No, no, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. Just sit I'm down. Let's do the interview. Why do you want to join the National Association of Underground Ping Pong Players? I'm, I'm really just here to film, man. I mean, it's just something I want to do. You're just here to film? Yeah, it's for a project. You realize that men have given their lives to the Napa Papa? <laughs> and you think you can just waltz in here and film? Yeah, I mean, that's no, no, what no, I no. intended to do. No. This takes a certain level of commitment. You understand me? Okay? Men have given up their lives, their, their entire lives. lives for this sport. This is something that people are gonna remember you by when you're six feet underground pushing up daisies. Blood this, sport. This is your life. This is my life, I get it. Okay, okay, this is, this yeah. is my life. Yeah, it is. From now on, ping pong is my life. I am not here just to film. Yeah. I am here to live my life through ping pong. Yeah, good. That's right. Is that uh that it? Am I in? No, you're not in. There's an application process. You know, there's like a two week waiting period. Uh, you know, there's hazing, of course, code reds. So we do that. Paperwork. Just paperwork. Yeah. Okay. So uh, what does that mean as far as the championship goes? I mean, it's coming up quick. <sighs> All right. You know what? I'm gonna talk to the higher ups. I'm gonna see if I can squeeze you in. I'm gonna do you a personal favor, because I can tell that. You're an okay guy, and that I'm running out of reasons why to do you this personal favor, so you should probably just leave right now. Okay, okay. yeah, okay, yeah. yeah, yeah, I mean, whatever gets me in. Yeah, so that you, can, you can go now. I'm happy with that. Yeah. All right, see you uh, tomorrow. When do I get to meet the teams? Uh, we can do that tomorrow. We can figure it out. Really, okay. Yeah. Okay, that sounds good. Yeah. Uh, see you then, man. All right, go to hell. Hope you, hope you, uh... Get your closet back. Office. Office. Office space. My office space.
I say the main reason why we're here is to spread the word of Jesus to ping pong. I was staying the bathroom and I was like, close the door and you're like, no. I, I was like, I want to see this. I was completely naked. Hola mama. So I bring him back to my pizzeria and you know, we sit down, we have the pizza. Eh? Yeah, we have the pizza. And then, and then, you know, I throw a plate and he catches it and he hits the meatball. And I'm like, you play a ping pong? And he's like, what would you say? What'd you I, 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 yeah, that's what he said. He said, I, I played the ping pong. So then I take him for my ping pong team. You know, we go, we go, we play on, we play. We beat everybody. Yeah, we beat all the. The th main thing we want to prove here is that Jesus is the answer and the true power of ping pong. Personally, I believe our robes allow us to pray and play ping pong to God's standards. B -b -bam! I agree with you, Brother Blue Ball, that this does allow us to play at God's standards. And though I may not have a 32A cup size, I do believe that I am able to play just as well. Unfortunately, at the Abbey, they only had altar boy size when I went to go get mine, so that's why mine is a little tight-fitting. I founded the Geek Squad. We won the first ever ping pong tournament. Back then it was a little more mathematic based. We're all mathletes at heart, really. And that's what it's going to take to win in this tournament. And that's why I'm training my protege here. To be the best at everything that won me the tournament 10 years ago. <laughs> you call this physics! You call this physics! This would have won in 09! It's 2012! You gotta get on your game! <laughs> What we lack in numbers, we make up for numbers. All these other athletes, like, oh, they're so good at ping pong, whatever. Well, I could, I could have been that. I just, you know, applied my athletic skills to this paper. This was going to be my comeback year. I was going to regain my position as the world's greatest mathletic ping pong player. But the science and math world is a dangerous place. And last February. I unfortunately injured my arm during a series of extremely tantalizing and, and well, dangerous physics experiments. It was a loss for athletes everywhere. But rest assured, the Geek Squad will regain its top position in the ping pong world this year. Thanks to my incredible coaching and the natural talent of my protege, Jonathan Slack. I've been playing ping pong as long as I, you know, learned how to follow the trajectory of the ball using physics, you know. I learned where the ball's gonna go when you hit it. We've been training every day, every hour even, since last year's competition determined to reach the summit again, and we won't stop till our winning percentage is an assured 1,000%. What does that even say? I can't say! Here, Poindexter, take some vitamin C and chill. Oh, that's a negative, too. Better? Much better. Well, go! <laughs> As you can see, we have a lot of work to do. But rest assured, we won't stop till that work is complete. Got it? Good. Okay. Oh, I am a champion at ping pong. Ask. Miss Suffern, I beat her. Mm hmm I did. We just talked to uh, Miss Siegler and she said that she kicked your butt at ping pong. She's an old person, she's delusional. I love ping pong. I love ping pong. My name is Cletus and I love ping pong. Do you like ping pong? People? I hate people. Ping pong. I love ping pong. Ping pong rules. <laughs> How do you feel about ping pong, Will? <laughs> oh yeah, it's a sport. Definitely it's a sport. It's not a sport. There's really no physical exercise. You never have to move your feet. Ping pong is great. The sports golf played it. 
I have a ping pong table in my basement. My dog loves it. Uh, and she's black and white. We call her the ref because she puts her paws up on the table and watches the ping pong ball go across the table. And if we're not fast enough, if we miss, she's got it and we have to go find a new ping pong ball. I like hitting my balls. Okay, so we're only a day out from the ping pong championships, and uh, before those got underway, I wanted to take a better look at where we're going to be playing these games. So that's right in the gym here. Okay, it's, it's a little dark. I'm going to try and find some lights. Get a better look. Got to be around here somewhere. D Is that person? Hello? D Dylan? Um, sorry, um... What are you doing here? I'm checking out the gym for the games tomorrow. Uh, yeah, so am I. I'm, I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm looking around, just making sure that everything is, uh, split and span. That's, that's it. Why, wait, why the pillow and the blanket? Um, alright, to be honest, I'm having a little trouble at home. All right, daddy problems. So, you know, I'm just waiting out here. Th this isn't going in the film. No, I'm. No, I'm not putting that in the film. Right. The, um, but do you think where are the lights? I wanted to get a better look. Dude, I'm trying to go to sleep here. Okay, could you come back like later when it's not like the ass crack of dawn? Yeah, I, I can do that. All right, get the hell out of here. Good night, Dylan. Good night. All right, so, um, wait, I have to ask, why, why are we here? Well, you remember last night, don't you? Okay, I'm about to go talk to Dylan for one last time about the games before they actually occur tomorrow. So, here we go. Where are you going? On, we gotta get out of here, come on, come on. Hey, come back here! I'm not gonna get away with What's this! What's happening? Not you come come on. On. Well, if you remember last night, you know that we're not exactly welcome at the school anymore, and we can't really use the school gymnasium. So, wait, why are we here? Well, I still don't... Th th this is, this is gonna be better, you know? This is gonna be a lot better, though. What, what are they do- Cut it out! This is gonna be a lot better. It's not, it might not be as fancy, but you know what? We're underground ping pong team. We need, we need a sketchier place. And it, it looks nice, anyways. It's well ca- I swear to God! It's well camped. Home sweet home. Looks good enough. Yeah. Oh. Alright boys and girls. This is the site of the National Underground Association of Ping Pong Players 2012 Championship. Okay, well unfortunately the multinationalists got deported because they decided to come to America without green cards. So we are a party of two tonight. And I am not looking forward to it. Why aren't you in your robes anymore for the games? The uh, the international team, they stole our, they, they got their dirty hands all over our robes and stole them. And what about Sean, where is he? Sean, uh, demonic possession. Brother Red Ball was under demonic possession. This is still a sensitive situation for Simon, the whole injury thing. He said he'd be there, be here, but he didn't make it. Alright, now we're going to play the Chinese National Anthem to honor the men and women who gave us ping pong. So, take off your hats, hand on the heart, whatever you guys do. Alright, that's enough. I hate communists. Alright, come on. I uh, got my calculator today, so uh, it might set me off my game a little bit. We're not gonna lose, we're gonna win, because Jesus wants it to be. Alright, so even though this is an underground association of ping pong, we still adhere to national rules and regulations. Which means that both of you young men will have to take a urine drug test to test for steroids and cheesy bites. 
was a joke ball. Yeah! Right. So, um, take these glasses here and get a pissin'. You got it! Is there anywhere we can urinate? Like, over a toilet? Where you're supposed to? If it makes you feel better, we've got a pot in the back. It's right over here. Enjoy. Corner's fine. Corner's fine. <sighs> All right, time to test it. You check out, Paul. Thank you. Mmm, Jack, you check out all right. I'll keep this. What's under the blanket? Here. That is for the loser. Do the math, I'm stuck. Alright, now that your pee checks out, boys, we're gonna start the championship round. Now, because the multinational is forfeited, that brings us with the Geek Squad first the men of the cloth in the final round. So, uh, Paul, it's your ball. Ping pong on. Rip, there's too much draft in here. I can't. I can't hit the ball right. All right, don't get your panties in the water. Despite the draft, Jack, you lost that point. That ends this round. Paul wins. Okay, so now that's one point for men in the cloth. We're moving on to the second round. Jack, if you lose this one, then Geek Squad loses. Okay, best two out of three. Them's the rules. Ping pong on. Jack, your ball. That's the point. <sighs> point for Jack. So now we're moving on to the final round. Okay. Final round will decide the winner. It is the last and final round. Shut it, nerd! Alright, ping pong on. Come on, ball. Damn crazy sport, huh?
Mmm, Jack, you check out my right?